Mauritania, one of Britain's biggest dollar earners, takes on board two of Britain's leading dollar seekers. With Sir Stafford Cripps go more than a dozen sealed dispatch cases that carry the 15,000 word brief he and Mr. Bevin will expand at the momentous Washington dollar talks. In the Foreign Secretary's own words, he leads one of the most important missions in history. Setting a favorable atmosphere for the discussions, at an American Legion rally in Philadelphia, President Truman rebukes those Americans who constantly belittle Britain. Calling world prosperity necessary for peace, he says, Representatives of the United Kingdom and Canada will soon be here to discuss some of these problems. We look upon these talks as discussions among friends about problems which affect us all and in the solution of which we all have a common interest. The people of this country are well aware of what the war meant to Great Britain and of the stresses and strain which have been laid upon the British people in recent years. The representatives of the United Kingdom will find here a warm personal welcome and may be assured that these mutual problems will be examined by us in a spirit of friendliness and helpfulness. With the Mauritania and the ambassadors aboard her go the good wishes of the nation. With their American colleagues, the British delegation will discuss problems that belabor not only this country, but the entire world. For as Mr. Bevin says, it is not only a financial problem, but one that affects the world's peace and security. And he continues... For that reason, and others too, we welcome very much the speech made by President Truman in Philadelphia the other day. He showed there was understanding, a determination to try and grapple with these great problems that have left, been left to us as a result of the war. They won't be solved by talking at each other. They will be solved by talking with one another <laughs> and by trying to understand all the problems that are involved. On the outcome of these talks may well depend the future well-being of the world. <laughs>